Have you ever been in a situation where you were trying to say something or convey something to somebody and you weren't able to get your point across, but somebody came in behind you, said the same things you said, but said them with more umph and confidence and they got through? It's happened to me before. And that's probably because I wasn't competent enough. Now, competence is a fairly important uh, concept used in um, interpersonal communication. And, you know, in our, chap in our textbook, uh, in chapter one of the DeVito text, DeVito uh, defines this as the ability to communicate effectively is your interpersonal competence. Communication competence is a measure of the quality of your intellectual and physical interpersonal performance. So when I read that, I think, you know, that competence is um, something that's important because you, you learn how to be more confident in yourself, speaking um, not only individually, but in a public situation as well. Um, you're able to be seen more reputable and you're more likely to be believed um, than somebody else that maybe you know is kind of hesitant so uh, I found in the series Parks and Recreation uh, of NBC um, a great example in my opinion of competence um, so the scene is from episode one the pilot episode of the first season um, it follows Leslie Nope, who is a government official who works in the Parks and Recreation Department in a local Indiana uh, government. Now, she and um, her fellow uh, co-worker, Tom Haverford, are doing a community outreach forum, talking about problems within the Parks and Rec um, spectrum in the community when she comes across Ann Perkins, who is having an issue with a, par a pit in her behind her property. Now, Ann confronts Leslie, and Leslie comes right back. And this is our scene. I'll do something about it. Really? Yes, will you, I will help you. Is that a promise? It's more than a promise. It's a pinky promise. I pinky promise, all of you, that I will help. And I will go to that location tomorrow. And we will fill in that pit. And then when that's done, we're going to put a park on the land. OK? So in this scene, we see Leslie even though she doesn't necessarily know for sure that she can be saying these things and promising such things, such aspirations, such as filling in the park or filling in the pit the next day, and even putting a park on top of this pit, she is just saying things. And because of the way that she composes herself with competence, confidence, and um, you know, just talks to these people, they believe her and take her word for it, even though she knows in her own head, she may not be able to be, uh, may not be able to fulfill those aspirations that she has set for herself. So, um, you know, one of the things to take away from this is, um, you know, that if you were able to be more competent, you're more able you are more likely to be uh, seen as trustworthy, um, reputable source. Uh, as a person, com competence um, goes hand in hand with confidence. Um, when I want to think about competence, it makes me think that if you are able to be competent, you are more likely to be given an edge over somebody who is not as competent because people are are wanting to find uh, people who are confident, competent in themselves, 
what they do because they want people to believe in themselves that they are going to be able to do what they have set for themselves. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.